Hello and welcome back. With the routes now in place, I'm going to integrate the database. And I'll be making use of the MongoDB database, which I assume you already have configured on your system at this point. By the way, the M in mean stack represents MongoDB. So in order to communicate with MongoDB from within a Node.js application, we are going to be using Mongos, which will also help us to map JavaScript objects to the MongoDB database. So I will start by installing Mongos. Back in the console here, I will type npm install Mongos and I will add the save flag so that a reference of this dependency is placed in the package.json file. So Mongos has been installed. Back inside this project folder, I will create a new folder called models. And inside this folder, I'll create a file called data schema.js. Now I'll use Mongos in this file to define a schema. So I'll start by importing Mongos. And for the schema, I will store it in a variable called country schema. This should be mongos dot schema. Now this schema will represent a MongoDB document that will be placed inside a collection. So it will have the following fields. Since it's a country, I will give it a name which should be of type string and I'll also give it a capital which is also of type string next I'll just go ahead and export this schema so that we can use it in another file so module dot exports mongos dot model and we pass in here a name this name will represent the collection where this document will be created inside the mongodb database i'll just call it country and here i'll pass in the country schema So back in the index.js file, I will import mongos and use it to connect to the MongoDB database. So I'll just go ahead and copy this and paste it here. And I'll just use mongos then to connect to the database. So mongos.connect. We need to pass in the database URI. So this is MongoDB. We're working on localhost and we'll pass in the name of the database. I'll just call it min db. We're using Mongo's version 4 and the recommended way to connect is to pass in this object here called use Mongo client and set it to true. So with this in place, we also need to make sure that the MongoDB database is running. So I'll open up a new console and type here mongod. So my MongoDB database is up and running. And back in the other console here, I'll clear this and start the application again. So node index. Yeah, we have no issues with that. So back in this app router.js file, I will import in the schema and use it to do these CRUD operations. So I'm going to start it in a variable called country. And here we need to go one level up into the models folder and access the data schema.js file. So for this route here, a form will be submitted that contains the name and the capital of the country. All we need to do is to set these fields here to the submitted data and save it to the database. So 
I'll start by creating a new country object here which should be equals to this country then the fields are the name field which we are then going to set to the request dot body dot name field and the next one is the capital field which will be set to the request dot body dot capital field and next we can then just go ahead and save this to the database so here i will type new country dot save this method takes in a callback which contains either an error should in case any error occurred or the newly created country so what we can do now is to check if there is any error this error here will then return an error message in json format so i'll just copy this and paste it here and change this to 500 and here i'll pass in an error message and that should be then this error here now if that is not the case we'll then just go ahead and return the newly created country so i'll copy this one here and paste it here and in this case we'll return the newly created country this one here So for the read route here, we want to return all the countries in the database. So here I'll just use the country schema to find all the countries. So here I'll type country.find. And here we'll pass no query. And the next parameter will be the callback function. Which will either contain the error should in case there was any or the countries. So I will basically do something like this one here. So I'll just copy that and paste it here. So if there was an error, I'll just go ahead and return the error or as I'll return the countries. So I'll change this to countries, these countries here. I'll save that and get rid of this. So for the update route, a form will also be submitted, but this time around it will contain the ID as well as the name and the country of the capital. So I'll first get rid of this. And what we want to do is to find that particular country based on the country's ID. So here I'll type country dot find by ID. Then we access the ID fee from the body. So here I'll type request dot body dot underscore id and then we also pass a callback method which contains either an error should in case there was any or the country that was found in the database so i'll basically just repeat this process here again so i'll copy that and if there was an error I'll just go ahead and return this message here. If not, I'll then modify the country that I found and save it back to the database. So country dot name should be request dot body dot name and country dot capita should be request dot body dot capita so next i'll then just go ahead and do country dot save again which takes in a callback containing error or the country that was updated so 
So again here, I'll just go ahead and copy this information here. And this one should be country. And this one here should only happen when there is an error. So add here an if condition. If error. So. And finally, for the delete operation, all we need to do is find the country we want to delete according to the user ID and remove it. So I'll just type here country dot find one and remove this one here. And inside here we are finding according to the ID field. So I'll specify here the ID and we get the ID from the request dot params dot id field then we also have here a callback function with either the error or again the country that was deleted so once more i'll copy this here again and paste it So I have a typo here. This should be ID, not underscore ID. It's this part parameter here. So next, I would like to go ahead and test this application. But before doing that, I need to install and configure the body parser middleware that will enable form data to be submitted to the server. So I'll open up my console and install that middleware. So npm install body parser. Save. That is done, and in the index.js file, I'll require the middleware and configure it. So I'll store that in a variable called body parser. So we configure the body parser as follows app dot use body parser dot URL encoded and we set the following properties to true. This will enable us to capture the body of a form. And we can also go ahead and do app dot use body parser the json which will enable us to communicate json data so next i'm going to use postman to test this route i already have that configured on my system so i'll start by stopping and restarting the server so that the changes i made will be reflected Then I also have my MongoDB database running. Next, I'll open up Postman. So here I'll do a post request to test this create route here. So I need to pass in the name as well as the capital of the country. And I'll expect that if everything goes correctly, I should get the newly created country. So this should be a post request and it should go to localhost 8080 create and we're sending in a body make sure you select this one here and the face value the face key sorry should be the name so my country has no name and the next <coughs> value should be the capital so I also have no capital. So I'll send this request to the backend. 
And as you can see, we got back the newly created country in JSON format. And it also contains the ID key of the newly created country. So let's try to update this by sending a put request and see what happens. So I'll copy the ID fee. And then this should now be a put request. And that will be responding to the update URL, which expects the ID. So here I will add another fee underscore ID and pass in this value. And I will change this to say some capital, for example. and some country now send that and we have an error put cannot create so i send in the wrong url this should be update so again if i send that you see that particular country was updated so next let's see whether we can list this country so uh, that should be a get request then and this should be read and again we get back that particular country so let us see if we can delete this country so i'll copy this and send a delete request this should be delete with the id as a path parameter as follows so I'll send that. And as you see, the delete was successful. We got back the country that is deleted. That is because back in this um, delete route here, we kind of implemented it that when we delete the country, we return the country that was deleted. Okay. Now, with all of this done, I can now start creating the Angular front end application.